Hey, what's up, boys and girls? So we're here with a little bit something different today. Um, I made a casual standard deck, so if you don't like casual, standard, or casual, or standard at all, then you probably should just shut the video off, but I um, just made a standard deck with the cards I already had, and the singleton cards I pretty much have from, um, from Commander. Um, I had some Think Twices and stuff before. <laughs> And I had some alchemies, things like that, but the deck is not, I didn't buy cards for the deck, let's put it that way, I just, uh, I just made it for fun, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, so we pretty much have a blue-black control deck, and I like attacking people's libraries, so that's why I have Nephalia around here, because I just, I love milling people, it's just such a great feeling, there's something about it, I need to make a mills deck in Commander. Uh, just don't really know how to make it and what would be the best way just plus milling and commander just seems pretty awful for the most part As much as I really want to do it. We just showed what our plan is here. He's probably a bad matchup for us because um, He can count he can counter probably our haymakers. He's blue white. Yeah band control He probably has like Sphinx's revelation, which is just like really bad for me to play against because people do play Sphinx's revelation decks um, Oh, that's Delver. Interesting. They do play the Sphinx's Revelation decks here in the uh, casual room. Let's see. That was a good draw. Alright, um, if he doesn't flip it, I don't even want to kill it. Oh, we have to kill it now. Otherwise, we're going to discard, right? Alright, so we have to spend two mana. Let us do this. Just Doomblade it now. Why do we discard? Oh, I don't really know. Anyway, we're just... doesn't have it. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't play, like, Jace 5... Uh, the 5 mana Jace would just pretty much... Any, much, any Planeswalker would own us. Um, anything that was good <laughs> will just own us. Alright, opponent has nothing, which is pretty good for us. Alright, there we go. Not a land. So, I think... Do we think twice here? Otherwise we discard. Yeah, just, just think twice. Need to hit a land. We have 25 land in the deck, which is not a lot, but it seems good enough. Alright, well, this is not good for us. I guess we could have alchemy. That would probably be better to get the land. Yeah, that's probably better. I, like I said, this deck isn't meant to be like a serious, really good deck. It's just... For fun and... Opponent's playing nothing. He's got the Sliver Lands. Call of the Conclave. Nice. Alright, that's good for him. Far is pretty good against that. I wonder if he's holding up counter spells. He just doesn't care about his Delver. Seems very strange to me. Um, well, whatever. We'll see if he has a counter for that. Doesn't. Either he doesn't or he doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two. So we have no black lands in our hand, which is not good for us. So let's pass the turn. We drew a land, which is pretty much you want to draw a land or have a land played every turn in the stack. So he's got. So what do you guys. Okay, so that's a good question. From the uh, Gate Crash, Return to Ravnica, and Dragon's Maze Guild Gates, do you like the Dragon's Maze versions better or do you like the. Gate Crash version slash Return to Ravnica version better. That's something we have to counter, I think. I mean, he's going to get a Doom Blade or something, but it's a 4-4 four, four Flyer, which is... I don't want to get milled either, because I... <laughs> there are cards in my deck where I only have one of, so if they get milled, I just never get them. Alright, well, opponent left the game, so... You know, you're in the casual room, so people aren't going to play games out. Let's try another one. Uh, the stack isn't meant to be that great, but it's fun to play sometimes, so let's try another one. Alright, we've got... Ooh, that was the flip card thing. Alright, so we've got another game with this silly deck. So it's actually a blue-black control deck. It's similar to, actually, I guess, Louis Scott Vargas posted a deck on Channel Fireball um, a week ago or so. Whoa. <laughs> it's a cat. Um, not too long ago. I think it was like a week ago, and it was a blue back control deck, and it actually plays a lot of similar cards to this. Tribute Hunger is one card. I, I didn't actually watch the whole set of videos yet, 
I didn't copy his deck. I had this deck made for like the last three months or so. Just didn't really play it that much because it's really bad and um, I don't play this in dailies or anything. It's just for fun and you know it's, it's another thing you can do on Magic Online if you just want to play like casual games for fun. It's one of the things you can do. Um, so he's gonna Zarya Skilled Gate. But um, if you really want to play like a serious standard deck that's blue black, you can check that video out on the channel Fireball channel. You know he's obviously awesome and it's really funny. I wish I was just that funny as he is, but I'm not. So we have this deck, and it's basically you just want to attack your opponent's library. Sometimes you do get there with Snapcaster Mage damage, and that's very rare. I had Delver in here for a while, but I just threw, just decided to take Delver out. I put in some Doom Blades because. Before um, M14 came out, you know, Doomblade was not legal. Doomblade was not legal, so I had Delvers in there just because I have a lot of spells, as you can see. And I just added this. I took away Clone. I had Clone in there because it was legal. Alright, so he's got that card. We could just far it, make him replay it, or we just Doomblade it. Or he just take two. I'm kind of thinking if I just want to take two and maybe get more value out of this card, because we can always kill it later. Well, I'll just take two. That card isn't going to kill me just yet. This little lifelink is pretty irrelevant. I very rarely kill my opponents with damage, so... I guess that playing that after combat was pretty bad. Or before combat. Or in the middle of his turn. Sloppy play. Alright, we'll see if he suits it up even more. He just might. Alright. So my puppy is laying down at the bottom of the floor. He's pretty awesome. I was gonna upload a video with him going crazy in the hallway. He's pretty. He's awesome. He's just like the best little puppy. It's my first puppy. My uh, last dog who died not in October. Um, he. I need to probably just tribute hunger this thing. Dissipate that. Yeah, it's probably better to dissipate that since it's two creatures, which could be a problem. I can just kill this later. <laughs> So my um, last dog died, and then he was the same kind of dog. It's a miniature poodle. Um, yeah, this one's pretty awesome. I miss my other one a lot, and we waited a long time to get him, so here he is. He, oh, this guy skipped his attack step. This dog's pretty cool, though. He's a champion. Like, his mom and dad are both champions, which is pretty sweet. So he's like, his uh, breeder cut him with a, you know, poodle clip. For a puppy, so it's, he looks kind of he leaves, but he still looks really cute. You'll see. Um, so do you guys have dogs? What kind of dogs do you have, or do you have pets? Some of you are in other countries, so pets are usually treated a little bit differently. Like in Europe, I know in Poland people usually keep their dogs outside, and they're more of like outside dogs rather than being inside. This a little bit different. So what do we got here? We got Train Caracal Theorem, obviously. This isn't like uh, blue black control versus you know red green aggro with what's that card called burning tree emissary way of the thief <laughs> oh boy this guy's going deep so we're gonna tribute hunger that it lets us use our mana a little bit better yeah we're just gonna tribute to hunger that so he's building a hexproof no he's building a the, like the ban hexproof deck without the hexproof part of it, which is not really what you want to be doing, because the hexproof cards are legal, as it is in standard. All right. Hopefully he doesn't just play like a green a forest and then hexproof something up with uh, the little elf that's hexproof. What's it called? Glade cover scout. That's right. So. Whether or not we want a zero or plus one Jace, we just kind of want to plus one him until we have answers to everything they can do, and then you can zero him to your heart's content. But a lot of people just zero him right away, and that doesn't do anything. It just mills him for ten and fogs a lot of the time, but you want to make sure you have answers to things like this, which we do currently, but we don't have answers to a lot of things. It's just kind of usually better to plus one. Oh, both are drowned here, so I like it. So whenever enchantment enters the battlefield, it's not a cast ability, so we might just uh, let him cast an enchantment and then kill it in response. Next turn we might just uh, start minus tenning his library. 
attacking opponents' libraries always feels good. So he's got agoraphobia. <laughs> so we're going to attack Jace. We're going to kill his guy. He doesn't... Opponent is skipping his attack step. He might be a newer player, which... Not really good for him, unfortunately. Hmm. <laughs> Well, that's okay. It's a casual room. No big deal. Plus one. I guess we could just zero it. Yeah, plus one. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four. The second drown here doesn't do anything. Alright. Oh, my puppy woke up. What's up? You want to say hi? No? You're laying back? Yeah, it's going to lay back in a different spot. Nice. He's pretty cool. Today is his two month birthday, so he's two months old today. And maybe he'll all attack me this time. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna post some more commander videos. Um I posted the last video because it was a loss. Even though it was a loss because I got mana screwed, but I thought the whole the whole effect of me casting ravenous baboons and my opponent making me stone rain myself was pretty funny, but someone didn't enjoy that because they thought it wasn't worth posting. It's hard to make everyone happy because I either post all my wins. I do win a lot in Commander because I usually play powerful decks, and you know I just don't I don't record every single game I play. If I if I did, then I would have more variety. But you know, just human nature. I just don't I don't record every single game. So I, I usually just post every game I record. Um, if there are short ones, I'll well put two or three games in a, in a row. You know, to make it worth your while to watch the video. And I do appreciate you guys watching them for sure. What's in this deck? Call and serve. So it's a casual white blue enchantment things deck. Populate. Um... So yeah, you know, I try to improve the channel as much as I can, so hopefully I can get you better games. But, you know, when I play powerful decks like Azusa or whatever, you have just have blowout games and it just happens a lot. So it's, like, tough to always capture, the you know, those grindy games where you're going back and forth with your opponent. I'll try to put some more four-player games up. Maybe I'll do one tonight if I'm able. Because those, you know, last a lot longer, have more interactions, and... Generally, you guys like those better, so try to do that. Just sometimes it's tough. Like I, one time, I sat down to play a four-player game, and it literally was over. Everyone had 45-minute clocks, I think, or no, they were hour clocks. I had gone like 15 minutes into my clock. People were down like 45 minutes on theirs, and I just the the, the file was like it was an hour and a half video, and I just I had to delete it. I just stopped recording because just like it was mostly just waiting on people's you know, passing priorities, and people just weren't passing priority with respectable fashion, so. Those can be sometimes frustrating to talk for two hours, and then have a basically a video of me just talking to you while nothing happens. Anyways, so that's like Blueback Standard deck. If you really care about the list, I can post it up. It's not a good deck, it's just a fun deck to play in the casual room. If you guys are considering to play one, if you have excess Snapcaster mages and Things like that. Feel free to do it. And I just like, I love milling people with Drown Yard. Drown Yard is so great. Like, I wish it was better in Commander, but it's not. I'm going to make a mill deck at some point. Probably lose terribly, which some of you probably will enjoy. And I'll probably enjoy it too, because attacking people with libraries is just so much fun. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And happy birthday, second month, to my little puppy. Thanks for watching.